In today's video, I'm going to explain the most efficient ways to grind EXP for all skills when Technoblade is Mayor. So if you haven't heard, Technoblade's perks is gain 50% more skill experience. And since every one of these will get their own perk, if we come over to Furry E-Boy, his perk is better together. And then it says if you're on a public island with a party member, you gain 25% skill experience. So if we add that together, that will be 75% more skill experience. Now, this skill experience will be addictive and not multiplication because if it was multiplication, uh, it would be way too much. So first, we're going to start off with combat. With the booster cookie and a god potion active with the wolf pet, I will be getting the most EXP I can as of now. So if I start off by hitting this goal, I get 77.9% EXP. So saying I have somebody in my party and I'm grinding goals, I will be getting 136 EXP from one goal. As you just saw from killing that boss, I got a 3,777. If I multiply that by 1.75, I will be getting exactly 6,609 EXP from one singular boss. The next method is pearl spamming. Pearl spamming, we don't know really how it's going to work because how it gets nerfed whenever you spawn one in with the pearl. But right now, from spawning one in with a pearl, we get exactly 53, which will go into 96 combat XP per. Like, it might be less because of the nerf, but we don't know exactly how it's going to be. But this method will still get you a lot of EXP if you cannot do revs because of the money you don't have. Plus, if you're not doing revs, you don't have to worry about being able to kill the boss. This method is probably only for rich people, but you could still try it. But it's called F6 runs, which means you're just going to rush blood and you're going to kill terracottas and the golems. This gives you a lot of combat EXP per hour, plus if you're getting 75% more EXP, you will be getting a lot from golems. Usually if you're above Kata 30, it does not take this long to rush blood. You could probably be entering by 2 minutes every time if you rush blood pretty fast and you're just automatically killing these mobs. But I ran pretty slow because I was checking some stuff. And I will show you what it's like in the boss. So first you always want to start by killing golems, like I said this is only for rich people, but you'll be getting 7.4k every time, if 50% of that, you will be getting about an, an extra 3200 per one, which will add up to about 10k, and so basically you're going to be getting 60k just from killing these. And then you could kill terracottas if you have a bone. But this phase is much harder. So for the most amount of AXP, you're going to want to do pumpkins. And you're wanting to use a rabbit pet with this, of course. So right now with the rabbit pet and pumpkins, I'm going to have to use this. You could use a pumpkin dicer, which will give you more AXP. And like the other stuff, but this is just a base. So you're going to be only getting 50% because it's a private island. And I get about... 7.9 so 50 percent of 7.9 let's just say you're gonna be getting 12 per pumpkin now if you're using a rabbit pet now let me tell you my rabbits not level 100 and like i said the reforge but i will be getting 12 per so the best option is just to farm pumpkins because of the base that it gives and then the second option is going to be melon minions of course you're going to want to use melon minions because how Technoblade will give you farming minions work 100% faster and if you're going to be using Catalyst or anything or AF King with the rabbit pet your melon minions will work so much faster and make sure you collect it before this is over to get 50% but that's the best way to get farming XP with this event. Now for foraging it's simple of course. You're going to be using a, a toil tree cap and you're going to be going to the dark oak woods because that's the best area to mine. And of course you're going to be wanting to use the ocelot pet and since if you have somebody in your party and you go to the park you'll be getting 75% EXP. So let's just say 
you'll be getting around like 17 exp per for enchanting you're wanting to do this because of the max amount of exp it will give you and i think that the 75 percent will work on this but it would only be 50 percent so because it's a private island but i don't know if it works on these things or not i heard something that it doesn't about like exp boost don't work on this but if it does this is the best way because of the base exp it gives you is a lot and this is really the only way to get enchanting of course and for alchemy you're going to either want to use sugarcane or a fermented spider eye because of fermented spider eyes cost more but it will give you more base exp which will make you get 50 percent more um so it would be much better but sugarcane is less costing and it almost gives around the same base but if you want exp faster you use fermented and now we're gonna move on to fishing since you're probably gonna be wanting to do minion i mean since you're probably since you probably are gonna have melon minions down you will probably not have fishing minions down so we could take this out of the equations and for just regular fishing you're going to want to use a shark skill set for the fastest or like i think it's the cheapest and fastest um and you have to use a rod like this a rod that gives more exp per and a dolphin pet because the dolphin pet will increase your speed much faster or you could use a squid pet because of the more base you'll get so it's either speed or more exp per but if we look at the rod because of the expertise you get more exp too so this will probably be one of the best things you got to get expertise on there and yeah so when you're mining you're always going to be wanting to use a silverfish pet because of the exp boost and a soro set to increase your speed these are the two things you're gonna need plus any pickaxe that you can get this pickaxe uh i'm hard on the mountain five but i still use this but if you really want exp there's two things you could do if i'm using this and this i can get about 92 by mining this with the 75 percent boost because you're probably gonna have somebody in your party you will be getting about 161 per of these so the best option will probably be getting everything you can into speed now i know what you might be thinking mining speed is gonna be good to have but wouldn't titanium and sanium be better no because there's two reasons the faster you mine these you'll be getting about 161 and you can mine these twice as fast but titanium when you mine it it will be giving you about 300 and 50 per of this with the 75% exp boost so if we think about it if you just mine these you will be getting it much faster because about two of these blocks are almost one titanium so try going for mining speed rather than titanium and sanium but make sure if you ever see titanium just get it because if you're getting about this much exp per block you could get around 2 million, 3 million mining XP per hour with this. Now this video might be a little bit confusing because we don't know exactly what's going to happen. But I just wanted to make this video to show you the best methods you could to get XP with the 75% EXP boost. And 50% in some cases. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and goodbye.